Hello and welcome to this WagePoint video on setting up WCB and reporting in WagePoint. My name is Jenny Moore and I'll be taking you through this tutorial today. Once you have logged into WagePoint, there's a couple of key factors you need to do before setting up WCB, also known as WSIB, into your portal. In the top right hand corner, you'll want to select the down arrow key. From here, select Account Settings. You'll notice in the Settings tab under Company Settings, there is a tab called Calculate and Remit Workers' Comp for you. You want to make sure that this is selected green for Yes. In addition, scroll down to the bottom of the screen and ensure you have pressed Save Changes. Once you have done this, you are now able to go to the Company tab. From the Company tab, go to More and you will notice that workers' compensation is now displayed for you as an option. Select this. Now it's time to add your rate. Select the green button that says Add Rate. From here, it is important to select the province that it is applicable, your account number to ensure that the funds are adequately transferred to this account number, and the rate. If there's a maximum wage, please enter it here and select Save. Once you have selected Save, please review the following details. The province, the WCB account, the WCB rate, maximum wage if they're applicable. If you need to make changes, simply select the Edit button here or Delete. Now you're ready to update each employee for the respective WSIB rate. Let's do that now. Select the Employees tab. From here, we're going to go to Susan Baker. With Susan Baker, we're going to select the job. Notice now under the job description, there is now a field called WCB, WSIB rate. Select the down arrow key. It is important once you've selected the rate to select Save Changes. This will ensure that WSAB or WCB is calculated on this employee. Now let's go to our next employee. Again, to the Employees tab, we're going to select Jenny. From here, we're also going to go to the Job. Scroll down to the Job description where the WSIB and WCB rate is. Select the rate and now Save Changes. You have now updated your employees for the WCB WSIB rate. Now, if you recall, WagePoint can only remit payments to the WCB and WSIB board. It is still the accounting professional's responsibility to report the amounts to the WCB and WSIB board. But don't worry, there is a handy report built right into WagePoint to help you with this reporting. Next, I would like you to go to the Reports tab and select it. From here, select the More tab. Scroll down to Reports Library. Within the Reports Library, notice there is a quarterly WSIB report. From here, select the quarter in which you are reporting for. Then select Run Report. And voila, notice that this report will easily enable you to report the amounts to the WCB or WSIB board. We have the gross earnings, the workers' compensation, the cycle end. These are all pertinent information that are required for you to file on behalf of your clients with the respective boards. Thank you very much for taking your time today to explore how to implement WCB and WSIB into WagePoint. Have a wonderful day.